most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life what's up my love bugs and love muffins this is mama love and i am back with another video <clears throat> y'all I had all your comments a lot of you all said <clears throat> keep the hair long don't cut it some of you said do go ahead do a 14 I just went on ahead with I wore it long for a day y'all I couldn't deal with it it was just all in the way so I cut it to this length let me show you which I think is a perfect length for uh, my size and my age, and it's still sexy. Buh. Buh. Anyways. Excuse me, y'all, my bed ain't made, but I changed my room around. It used those side by side when you first walk in the room, but now it's not as when you walk in the room with the dresser, the mirror, the bed, and then the nightstand over there, and then the nightstand right there. And my dresser right there, the bathroom, mirror right here. Yeah, I ain't make my bed, y'all. I ain't make my bed, but I'll get to it. That's the joy of having your own place, you know what I'm saying? It's the joy of being grown and on your own and not standing in somebody else's house. Make your bed when you get ready to. Sometimes it's a joy when you don't have a man. You don't have to make your bed because he was going, why you ain't make this bed up? You know, stuff like that. And looking at you like, you know, you're a lazy woman. You, know? you can be lazy if you want. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, you know. Those little cons of uh, not having a man. One of them. You know. But yeah. So anyway, I've been up all night. And uh, I think, no, well, not all night. I went to bed at 12.30. And um, I woke up at six o'clock and I'm not sure why I keep waking up. But every time I wake up, it's like, I don't know. I'll, I'll feel rested for a, you know, a couple of minutes or whatever. Then I feel tired, so I'll lay back down again. So it's not my iron, y'all. I'm taking iron pills. Um, I don't know. And uh, so I rested again. So I thought, it's almost like my body is sleeping, but my mind is awoke. I don't know if y'all can experience what I'm talking about. But that's how I feel, and I just feel like I ain't rested at all, so. Whatever. It's a woman thing, y'all. But yeah, so let me know how y'all like it. Um, I was just trying to, you know, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, feeling sexy, y'all, you know. That's all right. Let me feel sexy, though. Let me feel pretty, y'all. Just, just let me, let me feel pretty. Cause sometimes I feel so ugly and insecure. Yeah, I know. And I know y'all thinking that's where Queen get that mess from. I promise y'all, she don't. Queen has so much confidence and stuff, and I don't know what happened. I just, I instilled it in her. I, I didn't tear it down as a mother. Tell her she was this and that. I always told her she was perfect when she would down herself like I do. Like, Queen, I don't know what you're talking about. You're beautiful. What is wrong with you? I always would encourage Queen. But I would down myself because I just feel like, I don't know, I let myself go, y'all. I wish I can go all the way back to my first pregnancy. I wouldn't have ate like that. Because this is when I got to wait, y'all. I got to wait when I was carrying Queen. <clears throat> and it wasn't actual pregnancy. It's what I was eating. And everybody was like, oh, what's your first pregnancy, girl? Spoil yourself. Y'all first-time women, uh, first-time pregnant women, do not listen to people who tell you that. Eat all the bread you want. Spoil her. Eat what you want with that baby. Girl, feed that baby. Feed that baby. Feed that baby. Queen came out puny. Like, I fed myself. She was a six-pound puny baby. And after I had her, I remember somebody asked me that they didn't, didn't know that I had, like, just had a baby. Didn't even know I was, you know, 
pregnant, basically. They hadn't seen me in a while, so I'm trying to say. And when they did see me, they was like, girl, you like you had five kids. Y'all. It's just like I got so big. It's pasta and bread and that's them spoiling me. Giving her pregnancy snacks and all of that. Gotta watch that stuff. Right after I had Naja, man, I was humongous. I got humongous when I was carrying her, but I thought that was like baby weight and it was going to come off, man. Mess myself up, y'all. So, I've been battling that ever since. 95. Just seems like sometimes I'd be wanting to give up and say, forget it. you just going to be this size. Because I went up and I went down and I've been humongous. I had been bigger than this, y'all. And, um, I don't know. I just get discouraged sometimes because I feel like... I'm on my way, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it this time, and just how to have a relapse, and you know, and, and now I'm starting to think. It's, it, it, I know it's got to be emotional eating. It's got to be emotional eating, or I'm addicted to eating. Whatever makes me feel good at the time, I eat, you know. And um, it's been hard, you know, really hard. Cause look at me, y'all. Look at me. Y'all tell me all the time, Mama Love or Miss Reva, you're beautiful. Do y'all think that? If I could be small with this face, I would. I would have been. You know what I'm saying? So evidently it's a struggle, you know? Because if I could have had this weight off the way I want, I would have been had my body. I would have been had my body back. But it's like every time I'm there, it's like, I don't know. It's almost like something inside me too. Like, am I scared of succeeding or something? You know what I'm saying? Because I get right to where I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. And then I get geeked up. And the wrong thing I do is go reward myself with food because I have done so well. I don't know. And then I get upset and then before I know it, I'm like, I'm not going to let that bother my weight. I know what I do when I get upset. I go and eat. And then subconsciously I find myself like eating, you know. And, um, and so, and it don't help with the arthritis in my right knee because like I said, I injured my knee. I fractured it. And, uh, and so... When you're bigger, you know, it, it, it wears and tears on your knees and stuff, and that stuff hurts, you know. And um, so, I just say to myself, if you if you if you let yourself go into 50 years old, big like that, and don't try it, and you're just gonna be a big fat old lady like you was a fat young lady. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like as I get older, this is not good at all. I don't want nobody taking care of me, y'all. I have taken care of a lot of people in my lifetime because my job is, is a caregiver, you know. And I care for a lot of women in nursing homes and private homes and things like that. And I would think while I'm washing them, you know, I would think, you know, I would, I would, I would clean those women like I wanted to be clean. Like, I clean myself, you know. And I would clean them like that. I would make sure they clean. Not half washed, but thoroughly clean. And I, and I used to think as I'm trying to roll them over and on the side and get them, you know, somewhere, you know, real heavy where they couldn't move. Circulation was messed up. I would always um, think to myself, God, I don't want to be like this. You know, I don't want nobody to, to be able, you know, to be like, I can't. I mean, I can't lift this woman. Could I get two people in here to help me? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like that, y'all. I don't. And so, I, that's, I think that's what keeps me from going to, headed to my 600-pound life, you know, because I stop. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm not saying I'm 500 or 400 pounds. It's not what I, I'm saying I will be headed there if I don't stop, you know. And I was just thinking that while... You know, I'm washing them. I think I be running things like that run through my mind. Like, I don't want to be that size. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to have nobody take care of me. You know, but at the rate I'm going, you know what I'm saying? If I don't stop and put these legs to, uh, moving and stuff again, you know, exercise. And I was doing pretty good when I was on a treadmill in Georgia. It's, it's a Michigan weather is like different too. You know. It's colder here. Um, I can tell when the rain coming. I'm in pain, y'all. I'm in so much pain to where I be like, forget it. I do not want to move. I'm tired every time I move my legs. I'm in pain. I'm sick of that, you know. And um, some days I just 
walk past it, you know, like, but if I could just get back in that same mode and get the weight down like I need to, then, um, you know, I won't have that problem. I don't, I don't feel like I'll always have an arthritis problem in my knees because they say once you fracture yourself, inflammation sets in and stuff like that, that you always going to have problems with them knees, you know. I've seen smaller people that have problems with their knees, but I'm just saying if I can help myself a little bit more, I would, I would do that, so. I don't know. I don't know how I got off on the subject. Of, I could just encourage somebody, y'all. Look, don't be like me. You young, get it off. If you're pregnant, don't eat. Don't don't eat healthy. I'm not telling you don't eat. I'm saying eat healthy. Eat healthy for that baby. Um, you, you yeah, don't cut out your snacks. But what I'm saying, don't overindulge because I straight up overindulge because, you know, like I said, that pregnancy thing. Oh, you pregnant? Girl, you better eat what you want. Girl, give good. I'm buying you. I'm, I'm gonna take you here. I'm gonna buy you this. I'm gonna buy you that. I'm gonna get you some groceries. I'm gonna take you out to eat. I'm gonna spoil you. You know. Watch that. Eat it in moderation. You know, don't don't do what I did because I'm telling you, you be trying to get this off and, you know, men of admire you until they see your body. You know. You know what I mean? They see you a, a picture. Pictures of you and be like, oh, she beautiful. Then when they see that full figure picture, then, mm, dang, she on the big side. Keeping it real, y'all. I'm not telling y'all, no, what I don't experience. No, So don't get upset at me and say, oh, big girls win. Big girls do win. We divas. We divas. But at the same time, it's not always about the looks. It's about the health. That's what I'm saying. And I'm at a frame, my body frame. I can't carry all this weight around. I got chicken legs. They're very small at the bottom and my thighs are thunder at the top. My waistline is small in between my fat rows. So I can tell that I'm a small frame just by the size of my hands. I don't have very large hands. You know what I'm saying? My hands are, are um, small. And you can see the excess fat on my hand on my arm see how that goes up see how flat my hand is now look at my arm all oh, that's excess fat i got a picture of me when i was younger i had my hands in front of me my hands matched my arm they did straight down but not not here that's at excess that means i'm not supposed to be this size so don't let nobody tell you too girl you find the way you is girl you better love yourself that's, I, I'm, I'm struggling trying to get the weight off. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying, you know. I'll love myself when I get this weight off. I'm, I'll do right by myself. That's loving yourself, doing right by yourself. So, uh, I ain't gonna lie. If I can get a tummy tuck, I would, but I'm not a good candidate for it because I'm, I'm too heavy. And, um, but I am thinking of uh, breast reduction because uh, even when I did get smaller, these, chest area it's not going anywhere it's not goes a little and uh, i think i had a couple members in my family that had breast reduction i have to take after uh uh my grandmother on my mama's side very very large chest very and uh so i inherited that and um i inherited those fat genes on my daddy's side yeah so gotta be careful because we just you know if it's in your genes you bound to be that way that's like you know somebody's father is an alcoholic y'all be careful as a kid coming up as kids if your father's an alcoholic be careful it's in the genes you can get a, you can get a addicted you had in your jeans and stuff like that let's, let's, let's have watch stuff you know handed down generational curses and stuff like that you know i think about all that stuff i just keep yourself better like don't make the mistakes that uh i have made you know when in my younger years childbearing years and stuff watch what you eat stick around for them kids look good for that baby it ain't always about a man y'all Sometimes you just want to look good for your kids. Who knows? I may have walked in the classroom plenty of times and embarrassed my kids. You know, babies are honest. Kids are honest. Kids will, kids will speak their mind. I had walked in a, in a, a, a daycare one time, and I wasn't looking raggedy. I'm always dressed. You, 
hey, makeup on, hair done, you ain't gonna, you know, had nothing too much to say about me, you know. And uh, <clears throat> and the little kids were sitting around the table, and it, and one little girl was like, oh, she fat. <laughs> Just as loud as she could. And kids is honest. And what was so funny was, she, she was a, a little fat, light-skinned girl, and she looked like me. I was like, I wanted to tell that little girl, just like me, you look like me. But kids is honest, you know what I'm saying? And um, they're not lying to you is what I'm trying to say. So if a kid could be honest, and sometimes, if you want honesty and you don't trust your friend, your friend, sometimes, sometimes our friends lie to us because they don't want to hurt our feelings. Oh, girl, you fine with that weight. Girl, you fine. Go around a kid. Go around a bunch of kids. And just see what they say about you. Because <laughs> they're going to speak their mind. Yeah, so I don't know how I got off into this. But anyway, I just wanted to tell y'all that. Be encouraged, y'all. I am vlogging later on today. I'm craving me some catfish, y'all. I'm going to make the vlog the next vlog. Because I didn't talk 15 minutes on this video. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.